for none other than the man that won a broken golden medal. So the wait, so the gold medal had a broken freaking neck, and then yeah, but did he repair it later? We'll start it did again. the gold medal go for surgery? Hi, I'm Drago, and this is I'm still Liz. He's still Liz. Has it changed? <laughs> and welcome to our wrestling perspective. If you like what you see, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, give it a thumbs down. Yeah. But don't give it a thumbs down. Don't if you're a supporter of the bar, what do you do, Liz? You give it to the side. You give it to the side of it. And in the famous words of Colk, what does he say, Liz? He says, Sabre, cousin. In this video, it is the final. Finally, it's done. The road to WrestleMania is finally accomplished. We have officially watched WrestleMania 35, and this video is about a review on it. We did one on NXT TakeOver. Let's see who's yes, actually... Did done anything competitive wise to the NXT card. Kickoff WWE presents WrestleMania 35 was none other than the pre-show we had to kick it off. I like to say kickoff instead of pre-show because we got slapped in the face. That's what they say as well. The first ever match to kick it all off within the pre-show was the Cruiserweight Champion. It's a lovely tradition isn't it? Oh, it wouldn't be WrestleMania if there wasn't Cruiserweights on the pre-kickoff. Question though, will it be on the DVD this year? Hopefully, hopefully we'll be on the DVD because it was a half decent match. Um, there was a lot of story in it. I don't know, great match. Crazy Weights, always good. Buddy Murphy, always good. Tony Nese winning, don't know how to feel. Like, I love Buddy Murphy. I love Buddy Come on. Murphy. Uh, how did Aussie just drop the belt? In the second match for the WWE pre show, I got this wrong. I got that wrong. It was for the Women's Memorial. It's not even a memorial. Not even a memorial it's no. just a Women's Battle Royal. It was. Wait, who was it supposed to be for again? Mae Young? No, no, Mae no, Young. No, no, Fabulous Moolah. That's Yeah, the but one. now that's got taken away. I want the way a little bit of uh, Godfather uh. So instead of a person standing like we usually get, we've got a fallopian tube type thing like last year. I'd love but to put that in my trophy. The case. winner out of it all is someone that produces dance breaks. <sighs> Seven second dance breaks. It wasn't even seven seconds. Don't know how to feel though. I was. I, I would have been happy with Sarah I Logan. I thought Sarah actually. Logan actually won. I would have been happy with Sarah Logan. <laughs> Still happy then. In the third match for the WWE presents WrestleMania 35 kickoff was nothing major. See what I did there? It was oh, nothing major. Pun. But really, it was major because Kurt Hawkins has officially got rid of his undefeated streak Boom. by winning the Raw Tag Team Championships with his long-lived of a friend that they've been friends for fucking ages. Love to play with toys. Is none other than Zack Ryder and Curtis Hawkins. Curtis I, Hawkins. I feel as if there's a ongoing theme here that we're just getting matches wrong. I know, but at this point I'm like, how can... Did I not call it that? I said roll up. And in the final match for WWE kickoff WrestleMania 35, I got it wrong again. Oh, lovely. But this time, Les actually got it right. I went with the predictable choice. It actually finally paid off. But the, the final thread, did you guess it'd be the SNL guys? No, I did not. Are you serious? Why? Why? It doesn't matter, they're getting the prostate exam by um, the outsiders. This kicks off the main card, what we've all been waiting for, the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania 35. And the first match to kick that all off, which I found out later because of weather, because it could have rained later on, so probably they didn't want Brock wrestling. That why? Yeah. So oh, Brock no. is like, actually not even Brock, Paul Heyman. Going, wait, walking down with Hulk Hogan's thing. Yes, it, it was unnatural. Oh, I love it. He's a real American Jew. <laughs> anyway, we had that match. Seth came out and kicked it all off. Three curb stump. That was it. I thought with all the um, what's it? With all the fairy tale wins that could have potentially happened, I actually changed my guess at the end to say Brock would actually win. But um, I'm happy that Seth won. Yeah, I so love Seth. He burned technically we both got it wrong, even though you said Seth to begin with. But it's still wrong. Still wrong. <laughs> Why Brock? Now in the second match to kick off the main card for WrestleMania 35 was none other than for property. We finally <laughs> saw it. We saw who actually owns the house and actually who kind of builds the house and that was AJ Styles finally going over the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Well, this is where you were correct. I was wrong. I thought it'd be an RKO out of nowhere. But I think the biggest part of the match was actually the light that was blinding a lot of people. Where Randy did say at the end that, I'm not going to say the actual word he used, but they missed out on 95% of a great match. Well, not only that, I'm, it's not that I'm pissed off with the ending. It was just I was expecting too much. I need to lower it down and be like, listen, 
If the match would have went for maybe another five or ten minutes, it could have actually stalled the whole I'm show. I'm surprised I didn't so. see a punt at all, or even an attempt to see a punt. Come on, you're gonna be a bit. Uh, we saw an RKO. We did see an RKO, but Should how many phenomenal elbows did we get? Two. Maybe more. And in the third match was for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. It was Rusev and Shinsuke and opponents going up against none other than the re recently formed team from the Dusty Rhodes Classic, Ricochet and Alistair Black up against. The bar? The bar? Yeah, in Shamus and Cesaro. Up against the current. Smackdown Live Tag Team Champions recently re-signed re The Usos in Jimmy and Jay Fantastic match, I can't complain much about it I didn't even want to complain about this match But holy crap Even though The Usos retained because they re-signed it I thought the honors are going to drop the belts and go to Raw But besides that point, yes I just can't believe that Alistair Black and Ricochet They lost on Raw to go up for the Raw Tag Team titles They lost at NXT TakeOver to win the NXT Tag Team titles Now they've lost an opportunity for the SmackDown Tag Team titles at the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania Maybe they're not meant to be a team I assume now when that draft comes up or the Superstar Shake Up We'll have one go to Raw, one SmackDown I assume Ricochet will go to Raw to the Flippities And uh, Alistair Black will be the new Undertaker on SmackDown In this match was none other than the build we've had one of the biggest story builds that we've had for a Since while. Since Saudi Arabia. He's the son of the C... No, no, I even see that. The son of the chairman of the WWE in Shane McMahon up against a recently turned face in The Miz and his dad, George. No, just kidding. It's just <laughs> Miz. We'll Featuring his George dad. Square up there. I, if I have to hold... For a solid right, three minutes, yeah. I saw this and then Shane lift up his hands and nothing came out of it. Ah, yeah, oh, it was still good. It was still good. With that, and with Shane's little introduction like he has been doing recently on SmackDown, Shane's fantastic. The match was way better than expected. Way better than expected. Them both falling over and then Shane with that heelish win straight Cheeky on little my elbow. arm was over you, so bad luck. It's a one, two... Three. We need to keep Shane just the way he is, still keep him featured on SmackDown. Vince who? Get out of here. We got Shane. That's the only McMahon that we need in our lives. In this match was for the newly created WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. It was a fatal four-way four-quarter match. It was the Divas of Doom and Beth Phoenix and Natalia up With against, a little bit of her heart. Yeah, up against Samoan Thrower Health and Nia Jax and Tamina up against Billy Kay. And Peyton Royce, that's it. The iconic. We're bad Australians. <laughs> Up against the legit Bolson Fug in Bailey and Sasha. <laughs> Banks who? Woo! <laughs> Finally, in this match, we saw Kofi get it done. He's a new WWE champion, even though this isn't a WWE champion. It's a new day belt. So, you know, I was very happy. So you're going to get a new replica or? Let's see if they make a New Day belt type thing. I'm going to have to get the Kofi side blades. Oh, god damn. Okay, in all seriousness, I love myself a little bit of Daniel Bryan. A little bit of uh, Eric Rowan. Is, sorry, Rowan with the middle t-shirts. But um, it was a good match. It was in this match that I went to go make <laughs> two minute noodles, which never take freaking two minutes. It takes at least ten. They were delicious. They were delicious. So, wait, so but it's... It was the Samoan, not, not Samoan, well, yes, well it, was Samoan. A, it was the big doge returning match up against the Scottish psychopath in Drew McIntyre. So what do I think of the match? Yeah. Those noodles were nice. And it was at this point that we saw the Alliance, Elias performance, but guess what happened? I didn't because I was making noodles. Okay, so you can get out of this one. I've got this covered. Anyway, so I caught the end of the uh, Drew, uh, Drew McIntyre match with uh, Roman Reigns, and yes, I did see the performance of Elias, and I did love the fact that he was actually performing with himself. Nah, 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 nah. And I did love John Cena coming back as a doctor of fuckonomics. I did not think John Cena was still savage, nor did I think he actually should ever wear that attire again because he looked like an old man like Marky Mark trying to go back to his rapper persona. Anyway, loved it. Loved John Cena. Love how he smashed Elias. I love Elias in general. Please give me more. 
Yes. In this match we saw none other than the United States Championship get defended. We didn't actually see Dominic this side with Rey Mysterio. Yeah, that was one of your predictions. Looks like a chopper chop, but that made me <laughs> happy when Samoa Joe finished him with, was it just over a minute? Just, no, no, exactly. One minute, exactly not including the minute. entrances though, which I believe would have went longer for the minute. Anyway. A minute for him, just a three minute check, but like, wear that mask again. <laughs> We're not going to wrestle. No, no, wear that attire. No, the whole thing. About time Samoa Joe's dominant. About time. Needed it. Actually needed it. He's finished his addiction with Wendy. He's back on track. Where's Dominic? He could have choked out Dominic. It was in this match that we saw a retirement match for a guy that won a gold medal with a broken, broken freaking, freaking neck. neck. Oh, which true. It's damn true. What were you going to do with me? No, no, no. Keep going, keep going. Anyway, it was Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Before this whole WrestleMania started, we needed to go past Hungry Jacks. Give me what I want. I just get out. And to start off with the Batista versus Triple H match, the whole big feud is great been entrances. It's gonna finish on Batista's terms with him coming out in a couple hummus slash limousines. Him coming out, even getting his nose ring. Taken out by the oh, Mad Max yeah. Triple H while it was in the ring. This Loved match it. was actually half decent. It probably did go on longer than what it should have. But that's oh, any wow. Triple H it match. Was a final, that, yeah. If this is the final time we see the animal, thank God it was back in his old attire. Ray could learn something from this. <laughs> Batista did actually uh, put on social media that he is officially retired from wrestling, where unlike Triple H, who will probably be a main for the next five others, they're going to make a mixed complain. tag. Tag Team Championships, just a Triple H and, and his Stephanie. daughter that's currently 12 Ooh. turns 18 so they can make a belt. I'd be very happy with that. No, I wouldn't be happy. I'd be happy. Best Mania match. Don't care. What are they going to call the daughters? The board games? That's so much. Then in a semi-main event, we saw four and a half minutes of pure goodness. We saw... Four minutes and five seconds. Four minutes and five seconds. It wasn't even four minutes and a half. Anyway, we saw the almighty... Bobby Lashley, accompanied by the man of the, the hour, hour, the 24 year old piece of gold in Leo Rush, Rush. up against the demon Finn. The, ah, he does this a lot now, he actually uh, does ah. That is something that we had to talk about this Mania weekend, there was a lot of tongue. A lot of tongue. A lot of tongue. Wait until we talk about the Hunky Dunk Man. And finally, in the main event, the big payoff for WrestleMania 35, the whole road had officially stopped for this one match and it was for the winner takes all match of the Smackdown Live Women's Championship and the Raw Women's Championship stating these will be the three competitors we have the man Becky Lynch whoa who came out with steam up against the current Smackdown Live and eight time women's champion in Charlotte Flair who came out with a woo helicopter then none other than the rowdy one herself in Ronda Rousey. She had a live performance which was fantastic. Woo! About time we saw a, well, about time we saw a good live performance. Yeah, and all actually on K and everything. Mm. Maybe it's good to have women in the main event. Do it again. Do it again. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, for this match it was an actual good payoff for Becky Lynch finally getting both of those belts, but hey, wait a minute. As a former referee, as you can see in my former footages, We'll show that. Her shoulder was up. It was up. It was up. A lot of people are just complaining about it. They're saying it was a botch finish. Some people are saying that apparently the original idea was for Charlotte to actually tap out to Becky. And apparently, you know, you got the backstage BS that apparently Ronda was upset at the way she looked, yada yada. I'm calling it now. I think it was planned, that finish. I don't think the shoulder up was planned, but I think it's even better than what's expected because that was Ronda's first ever loss in WWE. Now watch that become the main event of next year's WrestleMania. Mark my words. Is that a less prediction? That's a less prediction. Now for the overall of WrestleMania 35, the granddaddy of them all, let's strictly stay our predictions that is going on from this road up to the next road we're going to be counting it. I'm currently in the lead with eight predictions right, and he's currently in. I should have went with the Iconics. He's a bit, a bit behind, boys. He is on seven. After the way you made me vomit. I deserve to win that. <laughs> it was a load of it all. I went through seven and a half hours of WrestleMania, which wasn't bad this year. It was actually excellent. Just to losing predictions.
And seeing the return of John Cena, I eventually got to see him because we had to rewind it when I came back from making noodles. Anyway, that whole kickaboodle of the John Cena thing, finally getting to see it, was fantastic. The whole thing with Triple H being ironic, you beat a 70 year old whatever man, but then that 70 year old or whatever man <laughs> helps you beat no, Batista. No, 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 New Day, ah, oh, no, sorry, yeah, New Day helps Kofi, so what's your excuse on that? They're not 70. And don't try to use them in a, whenever you've seen Kofi being like, you're the only reason why Big E and Xavier help you to wait, win, you and wait, then he gets wait, it. Wait, wait until, he has no, 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 wait until they break up. And then one of them say, or both of them say, we were the reasons why you won. Anyway, Shut your and whole the mouth. last part of this overall that we have to add, Ric Flair has officially stated he is no longer Charlotte Flair's dad or father. She, he's known as Charlotte Flair's dad, father. There we go. It was a long, long pay-per-view, seven and a half. I actually thought it was going to be a lot bad. The... Okay, I'm, I know the Triple H match went for a while, but after that, things went bad. The Kurt Angle match, I'm sorry, that was such a horrible way to exit. The IC match, IC, uh, it, it was only four minutes. It was but, good that it was seven event event though. Look, it was good that we did see, you know, Finn pull out all the energy and the power and the strength by giving Bobby Lashley a power bomb. but then, I don't know, towards, towards the end, it got really bad. You, you can argue that the main event did finish on a very low note, that it was very but, anticlimactic. But think, of it, think of it right now. This road is done. Let's hop on a new freeway and see how WrestleMania 36 is. If it goes for longer than seven and a half hours, I quit.